Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So my name is Bola. In this video, I'm gonna be teaching you how I did my I'm gonna be showing you how I did my makeup and also how I dyed and curled my hair. The curls have low-key kind of fallen now, like that's why it doesn't look like it's all that. But when it was freshly done, oh my god, girl, it was giving the business. So yeah, um, please make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe, send this to all your friends. Let me know what you guys want to see down below. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. So to dye and bleach the hair we're going to be using two adores in the shade jet black one crystal clear because it just makes your hair shiny and makes it look bouncy and healthy as well we're going to also use 30 percent developer blue ble some blue bleach powder i apologize for that and then i'm gonna get like a hair dye bowl and like a hair dye brush i got this from poundland you can pretty much get it from anywhere to be honest with you so I got the frontal and I'm just showing you guys what it looks like. It came pre-plopped and the hair was pretty much already jet black but I was still gonna dye it again just for the extra, do you know say quite, you know, the extra effect. So I'm gonna get my 30 developer and my blue bleach and I'm gonna mix them together both in a bowl. Um, I like to get the consistency kind of like toothpaste. So I gently open my blue powder with um, a pair of scissors. You want to be really careful with this just to avoid it like going all over in the air. So I mix it in until I get like a toothpaste-like consistency. And when I'm happy with that, I start to apply it straight onto the frontal. Always talking about what he wants to just sit on his broken. I didn't record it but you're supposed to you should spray on got to be spray on your frontal first just to protect it and make sure that it's thin. I then like to gently apply the bleach all over the top of the frontal. I did leave this on for 10 minutes but when I washed it off I did find that it wasn't bleached enough for me so then I did it again and then I left it on for another 20 minutes so in, to in total I did bleach this frontal for about half an hour but just that does depend on the frontal you're using and you should always triple check it and see how the roots are doing so what's that so when that's done I'm just going to get a wipe to wipe off all the mess that's on the table and then I leave my frontal alone no so after I finished boiling the kettle, I boiled it about three times. I'm then gonna empty the jet black dye straight into the hot water, as you see here, and then I'm gonna mix it about. I didn't have like a bowl, you should probably use kind of like a flat container but I'm in my student accommodation right now, I didn't really have that much thing so I just used whatever I had around but it did the job so yeah. So when you finish mixing the hair in, you're going to dip in your bundles and then you're going to leave that to soak in for about 5 to 10 minutes. With the frontal, majority of people do also continue to do the watercolour method on their frontals but i just didn't want to do that i just felt like i didn't want to mess up the lace or anything so i went back in i sat down and i proper parted and yeah the frontal <laughs> Hi guys, okay, so I'm gonna So first I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. instant lift brow pencil. Um this is the first time I'm actually using this. When I just did my hair like right now and I'm irritated because now all my hair is like on my fucking edges. Anyways, so first thing I'm gonna do is go in with my spoolie. I mean, I'm gonna brush my eyebrows into the the into my desired shape. I usually brush them kind of like up. Just trying to get them into like a nice kind of like fluffy shape. And then I outline my eyebrows. I literally just go in with a soft line. I didn't fit into the other side. 
I like eyebrow pencils that when I make a mistake, I just literally rub it off with my hand and it comes off. My face. Anyway, so when I have something like this, I'm going to just go in with the spoolie and just kind of brush in the top of my eyebrows. I made a mistake on the bottom, but to be fair, like, when I do the concealer, like, it will mellow it out. But yeah, then I just kind of, like, brush this out, kind of thing. Brush out the tails into the shape I want. I got this concealer brush. I literally got it yesterday from a Primark. I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer Satin Finish in the shade Tan, Tan Natural. I wanted to get this because I think it's quite similar to my skin tone and I wanted like, yeah, I've always just wanted to try this concealer. I see very few people on TikTok talking about it, saying good things. Um, you know, you're gonna have to give it a go. And then, yeah, okay. It's really nice, it's really like, I like the consistency of the concealer. to just kind of blend it all out I actually made a mistake here and it's gonna piss me off if I don't fix it so now I'm gonna go in with my revolution pro matte primer <laughs> Okay, and then I get my Red Revolution conceal Concealer. I don't know, the name has kind of like scratched off, so I apologise. But it's just like the red coat. And then I've got like a lot of marks around my face due to hyperpigmentation. And then I just put the concealer where those marks are. And then I put, um, because I have a scar here, I tend to put just a little bit inside the inner corners of my eyes and a little bit on my moustache area just to avoid like any marks I get. two areas are the places where like gets the most oily um like nobody wants that actually. I mean next I like to get my sleek highlighter elixir in the shade popping bottles I've had this for a while now but I just love it like it gives your your foundation that extra kind of like je ne sais quoi anyway so I like to get one drop of it and I put it on the back of my hand you don't really need too much of it my hand's literally done so I just get like this is it for so this amount and then I get two drops of my NARS foundation and then I mix them together with my concealer brush or like a foundation brush whatever and then with some um, foundation that's left on my hand I go over the top of my eyebrows and then I like overline the top of my eyebrows foundation brush this is from Royal Techniques and I just kind of like press everything into the skin you're gonna make sure you don't swipe because if you swipe you're just moving around the product and you're just wasting it and it leaves and um, the harsh lines so I literally just dab in as if this was a beauty blender and that's how I pat in my foundation <laughs> And 
and I just kind of like to go back with my foundation and just go around where I have had a big notation because I just need it to have that extra coverage in those areas. Now I'm going to go back in with my e.l.f. concealer and I'm just going to place it in my mouth. And make sure that I'm going to your eyes to have any creases or anything. And then, yeah. and then I put this underneath my eyes, um, on the bridge of my nose, my forehead, my chin, and on top of my lips. And then I let it set. While that is setting, I go in with my Morphe contour stick. I leave the bridge on my nose because I go back in with a brush and then I just blend it all out. But like, um, my camera overheated. So basically what I did is just I blended out everything that you saw me put on my face. Now I'm going to go back in with my Born This Way concealer by Too Faced and then re-highlight my face. I'm going to go back in with my Morphe contour stick with a flat brush and I'm going to use it to contour my nose. And then I drag it all the way into my eyebrow. Like when I'm blending out my concealer, like I do love to do like this. I don't know how to explain it, like this lot, this line here with my concealer. And then I literally turn my beauty blender around to the back, and then I, I blend everything in it together using the back of my beauty blender. This way, like it helps the contour and the highlight, like blend in together and I lovely especially like to do it around my cheeks because that's where you don't want like any harsh lines you just want it to look like a flawless base back in with my elf concealer and just kind of reverse contour because this is a shade next to my skin tone it makes it like easier to like blend I guess I'm gonna go in with my foundation brush and just kind of like pat it in a straight line. Or, or even twice, actually. I use my um, foundation brush to kind of pat that in with my contour. I'm gonna recontour my nose because she's just not giving what I want her to give right now. Girls can't never say hi. And then she just put it right here, right here, and then I'm gonna go back in with my Morphe powder, and then I'm gonna set my face. Basically, I'm just gonna go in lightly with the powder, press on it, and then tap off the excess. And then, this is really just like put it under my eye without like applying too much. Sorry for the bit of in the back. And then, yeah. So basically, just go around all the places that I just highlighted. Once I've done it lightly the first time, I'm then gonna go back in and like bake a bit, more or less bake, yeah. Now, while that's like setting in, I'm gonna go in with my contour from Revolution Pro Scots and Bronzer. This is called Enrobe. This is the first time I've used this brush. I have to make sure I really get up in there. But still tap off the excess. I love this brush because it comes at like an angle, which is perfect for contour. I'm 
going with my Fenty Beauty Mecca Mami um, contour. This one, you just want a little bit because this color, like, a bit harsh, isn't it? Yeah, I'll just take a bit and I'll be okay. Right where I come to previously. I go in with my big fluffy Real Techniques brush and my MAC Deep, Dark Deep Skin Realizing Finish Powder. And I go all around my face just to kind of wipe off all the excess powder that was like left on my eyebrows or my eyelids or underneath my eyes. And then I kind of like also use this to like blend everything out together. I love this brush because obviously it's a big brush so it goes everywhere. And then I kind of use this to set my eyelids as well. While that's being done, um, I then like to use my what's this called again? My sculpting bronzer from Revolution, and then I like to use this to contour my nose. to go back in with my morphe powder and like reset where i just kind of contour if i get copyrighted for the beyonce in the back i'm gonna be pissed off while that's being set then i go get my this is the first time i'm actually using this like i just wanted to try a red blush so i got the mua red blush and I just want to see what it looks like because I see all these girls on TikTok like yeah I gotta get a red blush I didn't get a red blush da, 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 da. so update I did my eyes off camera because my camera was even over fucking heating bitch anyways I'm gonna go back in with my big brush that I used to brush everything away and then I'm gonna brush underneath my eyes my eyes started to water so I feel like underneath my eyes are it's definitely effed up now. Like, why can't somebody invent something for that? Like, how to stop your eyes from watering? Because I feel like it's fucking... It's killing my looks. Like, it's, it's killing my makeup. It's killing my look. Once I finish wiping all of that away, I like to go in with my Matte Fit Plus Gold setting spray. Add a generous amount. And while my face is still wet, I go back in with the back of my Beauty Blender and I... Just pat everything in, just to make sure it's all like sitting seamlessly with my skin. Once it's dried, I like to go in with my Revolution um, highlight. Pink highlight is so sexy, guys. Let me put you on for those who don't know. Stop using pink highlight and just go. Stop using gold highlight and just go. Start using pink highlight. Like I don't know what it is, but. It just gives what needs to be given and when you highlight yeah i feel like the best way to do this is to get like a tiny angled brush especially for the bridge of your nose like my brush literally looks like this it's so small and then i literally put it like right in the center of my nose blend it in a bit with my fingers and then i put it on the bridge literally just so gently and that's it like i feel like that's actually all that's needed. To highlight my face, I like to go in with like a small eyeshadow brush. Because I feel like with an eyeshadow brush, like it's more precise and you can control where your product is going rather than with a fan brush. I like to go back in with my contour brush and I kind of just use that to blend out my highlight. Like, yeah. Now I like to go, I'm going to go in with my MUA lip pencil in the shade Obsession and outline my lips. I'm going to go in with my Revolution Concealer in the shade CA and just place that literally just right in the middle of my lips. And then I like to go back in with the brush that I used to blend up my concealer to blend that out. With my um, Kiko lip gloss in the shade, I do not know because the number has run off. Then I finally just go in with like a clear shiny lip gloss on top, just kind of extra. 
I'm gonna use my mascara. This is the Benefit by the Girl Bang mascara for underneath my eyelashes. Just gonna use my NARS concealer in the shade Climax. <laughs> And then I'm just going to add some fake beauty spots on my nose. Where I have like this, this spot. Yeah. 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 And then like that's basically it. I'm going to wash my hands and tidy up a bit and I'll be right back. I would like recurl my hair but like I just don't feel like doing that so this was like my makeup look like sometimes I do tend to switch up my concealers I sometimes switch up what I contour with sometimes Fenty um whatever but majority of the time like this is like the base of it is pretty much what I do all the time with my makeup um I try to do it as informative as possible. I'm gonna have all the information on all the links and stuff in the description box. Everything I used, I messed up my new Shein top as well. Kiss my teeth, but yeah, my hair as well. I love my hair, like jet black hair. Maybe I'm seeing the hype because it does look good. Like it look the way it's like nice and dark. And I see what everybody's talking about when they talk about the jet black hair. Like I see it more time. Like I love when it looks messy. Like, I don't have to explain it. Like I just feel like. Oh my god, all back is so pain. Raw. Like, I don't have to explain it. Like, I'm one of those people that just look better with messy hair. I feel like I've always looked like that. See, do you know what I mean? I just feel like I look 10 times better. Okay, not for this part, but I feel like I look 10 times better just kind of messing it up for you guys. But yeah, I hope you guys liked the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Like, I hope it was informative. I hope you guys learned something. But yeah, thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. Make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe. Send this to all your friends and your family. Let me know what you guys want to see. And thank you so much for all the love and support. And yeah, I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.